In this video, we're going to show you how to fill out the About You section of the UC application. So the very first section you will see here is that you have to start with the personal information. So you will have to provide your name, when you were born, as well as where you were born. In the next section for contact information, you'll have to provide your home address, your telephone number, as well as if you authorize the UC to share your information with UC campuses and programs. In the citizenship and residency section, you do have to enter your country of citizenship. If, however, you are undocumented, you will just select no selection. Please note that it is not a requirement to be a U.S. citizen or a permanent resident to attend the UC. Once you make your selection, you will then want to provide your social security number or ITIN if you have that number. If not, you can just go ahead and select no. And you want to answer the following questions about whether or not you are a member of an American Indian or Alaska Native tribe. Then you'll be asked questions about whether or not you graduated from a California high school. If you select yes, they will also ask you whether or not you attended a California school for three or more years through grades K through 12. If you select no, you'll be asked an additional question about whether or not you have the combination of three years at a California high school, adult school, or community college. So you just wanna select the option that pertains to you. Next is the demographic section. Please note that this section does not affect your chances of admission. They are not using your demographics to make a decision. They are using this only for statistical purposes. So you can choose to leave this section blank if you want to, but just keep in mind that because the UCs do a holistic review, it is helpful to provide them with context about your background and who you are. So you may want to consider including it, but you're never obligated to. So you just want to answer the questions about whether or not you consider yourself Hispanic or Latino, and then indicate which group you identify with. The same goes for gender and sexual orientation. Again, this information is voluntary. It's not considered in making admission decisions, but it does provide them with statistical information about who their applicants are. Once you've entered information or haven't entered information, you can go ahead and save and continue. The next section is the background section. Again, they are looking for context to better understand who you are beyond just your academics. So here you will be asked which language you learned to speak first, if any of these statements apply to you, and whether or not you are a dependent of a US military veteran or service member. So you want to answer according to your situation. The next section gives them a better understanding about your parents or legal guardians or anyone you may support at home. Now keep in mind, in this section, this is going to be based on your age typically. So if you are under the age of 24, you will be asked more information about your parents because they are treating you as a dependent. If you are 24 or older, they will be primarily asking you questions about you and maybe your spouse or dependents because you are considered to be an independent. So again, you just want to answer the questions based on what you see here. So in this scenario, I did put in an age that would make me a dependent. So I am being asked about who lives with me at my permanent home address and what my parents' income was in 2020. But again, if I were considered an independent, this question would actually be worded as how much did you and your spouse, for example, make in 2020. So please make sure to read the question um, to make sure that you are providing the correct information. Additionally, please keep in mind that this information is optional. So again, if you prefer not to answer, you can. However, they are using this information again for context and the uh, income here is being used for scholarships and especially the application fee waiver. So if you wanted an opportunity to get that fee waiver uh, to save money on your application costs, you would want to make sure that you are including this information here. And you'll also want to indicate how many people were supported by that income that you provided. 
Next, because again, I did mention that I was a dependent, I am being asked more information about my parents than what I will be asked if I am considered an independent. So you do want to, again, this is not um, required, but if you choose to provide this information, you'll just want to address what your parents' relationship is to you, um, if they're still living, and then they will ask you more information about their level of education, their job status, and so forth. So you can choose what information you choose to provide here as well. Once you've done that, every section has a review section. So it's a nice way to get a quick snapshot of all of the information you provided in that whole section. So make sure that you do the review so that you can make sure that everything that you put in here is correct. That's it for the About You section. In our next video, we'll be going over the Campuses and Majors section.